What's up guys, Artistic, here bringing you another tutorial and this tutorial is going to be simple and basic introducing you the, the shortcuts for Photoshop CS5 it works on any Photoshop, trust me, because when I learned these shortcuts and Photoshop when I was on, on high school back in 2008 and I was using Photoshop CS3 and the exact same short keys that I learned on 2008 on Photoshop CS3 are the exact same ones for for this Photoshop for CS5 so nothing has changed everything's still the same okay let's get started now if I want to use the brush tool just press B and there you go the brush tool and if you want to increase the size instead, instead of by just going from right here to increase the, the brush size um, I think I think these are called the brackets they're right next to the the P button the P the, yeah the P button you click on the button next to the P on its right side and then de and it decreases the, the left bracket and if you click on the other bracket next to the, the bracket you were just pressing it increases it see it's the exact same thing with the eraser tool so for the eraser tool just press E then you go with the eraser tool and if you want to decrease it or increase it just the exact same way how you increase and decrease the the, print, the, the brush size now for the if you want if you want to use the pen tool just P for pen tool, I for eyedropper, the H for the hand. So whenever you zoom in, the hand just makes it, you know, like move so however you want it. Instead of by just clicking this little bar right here and then just start going up and down. So yeah. Now the the gradient tool is just gonna be the G button. Now this one's tricky because it's not all like let's say if I leave it on the on the paint bucket tool, I go back to the brush and I'm doing this and I want the gradient and I'm gonna press G again. I have the paint bucket tool. So what that does is that I leave it's just choose it just um it gets to how how you left it. Like if I left it on the gradient and I press G it stays on the gradient. If I left it on the paint bucket tool, I press G on the I press G and then I get the paint bucket tool. So it's it's pretty much the same thing with the with the pen tool, you know when you press P, you just click and hold, and you, got, and you have these options right here. It's, it's the exact same thing as the as the gradient, the pen bucket tool, and, and the exact same way with with the dodge tool. So let's say you want the dodge tool, which is this right here, just press circle, and the exact same thing what I just explained just leaves it how, how you left it. So you so if you want to choose these, you just gotta click, just click and hold. Now for the lasso tool, just click L or just press L <clears throat> what the lasso tool does it, it selects this object you want you want to select so let's say this is already selected <clears throat> and if you want to subtract like half of this you're gonna have to hold the alt the alt key button the ALT button you see that minus it means subtract which is obvious so you subtract this and what that does is you, you only have this selected so let's say if I move this see it's moving only that Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna undo that. So to undo things, you just hold control, just hold the the control button and then Z. If you're using a Mac, it's command, the command button. So since I'm using a, a PC laptop, I just control and then Z. See, it leaves it how way it was. <clears throat> and if you want to take more steps backwards, just hold control and then hold the Alt key button at the same time. So right now you're holding two two buttons: the control button and the, and the Alt key button, and then just press Z. See, there you go. Now, now for the for the next um tool, we have the the type button, the well the type tool. Just click T. You have the the type tool, and every time when you when you click the type tool and, and you click on the on the document, it it automatically makes a new layer for you. So that's kind of good, you know. That's good. You always want to have a type. When you, when you type something and make sure you have a different layer so you just type whatever and if you want to increase the the size like the points the size points you just click and hold it make sure they're highlighted and then you just choose whatever point size you want and if you want to change the the font you have all these options right here and just change the font for you <clears throat> and if you don't want a regular, you could just uh, 
um, you gotta select a different one. If you, if you want a regular, well, this this one is. But you can put in the italic, bold, bold italic. But yeah, so on and so on. So to, to delete the layer, you just click and hold and drag it to this trash can right here, the garbage can. Now to make a new layer, same thing. You just click this right here. It says new layer. So, so I'm just gonna delete that. Sorry, I'm using this layer right here. Now, what other one I'm missing? The like, let's say if if um, I'm gonna go back to my brush tool. Let's say I have a red right here and a yellow. No, let's put a blue. And a blue and. Now that I'm done using the blue, let's say that uh, I'm, I'm done using the blue, I want to use the red. Instead of by clicking this little arrow here to, to, to change it, see? I could just press X, and what X does, it changes the foreground and background. So the blue's gonna be my foreground, and then the, the red's gonna be my background. So see, it changes it for you. So it's a quick way for you painters out there, just just click the, the, X, the X button, and then there you go, see? Go back, see? And there you go. Now let's say you you like let's say you, you like this what you did in this layer even though, even though you have this um this object right here like this whatever it could be anything right here this, this um what I did right here is black. Now if you if you wanna make this into a new layer you just get the lost tool again. <clears throat> You're gonna click and hold and, and circle this object that you just did and what you wanna do is just hold Control and then just press J. And what that does, you made a, you made a separate layer for this. See, you made its own layer. So that's another short key or another tip for me to you, if you didn't knew that. And if you did, well, that's cool. You know, it's, it's pretty basic. All of this is pure basic. It's, nothing's advanced yet. <coughs> advanced is how how you use it, and then how you like it's, it's just basically how you use it, and then how you interpret it. But other than that, this is just pure basic stuff. Like fundamentals, whatever. It's pure basic. Just shortcut keys. Now another another key right here is um to zoom out or to zoom in. Just click the Z. Just click Z. And then you can zoom in. But I never use the I never use the magnifying glass. Just by pressing C and then start clicking and then zoom in. What I like to do is let's say I could have the paintbrush tool, right? And I want to zoom into this right here. What I like to do is just, you know, the the the, at the it's the plus button and then the the dash button. <clears throat> it's right next to the zero and right next to to the backspace button. So I'm gonna hold Control and I'm gonna hit the plus button. Just click it, like just just um just press on the uh, just hold the Control button and then press on the on the plus um button, and it zooms in. See. And then next to it is a dash button right next to the zero. Same thing, hold control and then just press that little dash button and you zoom out. See? And let's say I zoomed out too much and I want it to have it fit screen. Not full screen, but fit screen. What you want to do is just hold, hold control and zero. <clears throat> See? And then you zoom it in. You zoom it in as a, as a fit screen. Now let's say if you want to transform this, just hold control. Well, I, I'm, I'm gonna select this what I just did. Remember, the lasso tool and then Control J. So I made its own layer, right? So let's say I want, I wanna let me deselect this so you won't see that. So let me. See, uh, so I'm gonna I'm transform that. So what you wanna do? Just hold Control and then press T, and there you go. You can start tweaking it like however you want, like stretch it out, or whatever. So let's say you messed up like, oh man, I messed it up. I messed it up because I wanted to have it in full proportion how it was. So the quickest way, if you wanna, if you wanna cancel it, just press the escape button. It's on, it's on your 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 top left, so you can't miss. It's the es esc button. So you just press it and then boom, you escaped it. So let's say I wanna transform it again and I wanna have it in full proportion. I don't wanna stretch it. I don't wanna do nothing. I just wanna have it how it is, but just make it larger. So what you want to do is just hold shift, hold the shift button, and then you can just always get it from the corner and then just drag it out. And then there you go. You have it full proportion. It's not stretched out or any way. It has it like.